the school of aquaponics. Okay, so here we have a manually built trickling filter. Um, and what I'm gonna do in this video is give you a, a, an overview or a breakdown on how this was built and the function of the trickling filter. So um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already watched the video on um, biological filtration. If not, there's a link in the description where you can go and check it out um, and get a full breakdown on uh, biological filtration. But basically what it is, is um, it's just converting the ammonia waste that is produced in the system from uneaten feed and um, a, a, a fish waste um, is basically converting it into a less um, a toxic form of nitrogen known as nitrate and um, this trickling filter here is what um, will uh, generate that process. So basically what's happening is the water is coming in from the top here. There's holes cut in the bottom of, uh, in the bottom of this uh, top here and it's trickling down. It's making a trickling effect um, coming down on some media that's um, inside of, uh, of this barrel here. And there's, that's where the beneficial bacteria, the nitrifying bacteria are growing and colonizing and converting um, the ammonia into nitrite and then into nitrate. Um, so that's pretty much the, uh, the gist on the, um, the, the trickling filter and pretty much how it works. So how this thing was built is I used two separate uh, 50 gallon drums for this particular um, filter here. One drum was used for the main portion or the main body of the filter and the other drum was used um, for the top portion here. For the main body here, what I did was um, I took one barrel and then I cut I cut um, the barrel at the 50 gallon mark. There's usually a line on the uh, on the barrel that tells you um, the water level of the barrel. So there's 50 gallons, there's a 75 gallon, um, and so forth. So 50 gallons, and if you don't have the mark on there that tells you the the water level, then it's about five inches from the top. Just uh, mark five inches from the top and cut um, all the way around um, to remove one portion. Um, of the uh, of the of the of, of the drum. So with that, I have the main body, and all I did was add like a um, a large water bowl, a little plastic water bowl in the inside, where I can sit the media on top of. And this just basically pre uh, prevents the media from being submerged um, in the water. Um, and then from there, I added the media. Um, I added some K1 media, and I added about two cubic feet of media um, into the, the, um, the, the mesh filter bag and then placed it on top. This media here is where the um, bacteria are going to colonize and this is where the trickling water is going to be contacting um, to um, uh, uh, initiate the growth of the bacterial colonies. So here is the, um, the bottom drain of the trickling filter. The water is going to come up, boom, trickle all the way down and then this is where it's going to exit at and in this setup um, it makes its way back into the sump tank. Um, where it gets pumped out and redistributed um, throughout the rest of the system. So basically here, all I did was um, use a two and a half inch hole saw, drill the hole in here, boom, place a uh, inch and a half unisil in here, and then uh, put my inch and a half piping in here, place an elbow on here, and then just extend it all the way uh, back to the sump tank. And that, that's pretty much the exit, uh, or the, uh, the, yeah, the exit from the, um, from the trickle filter. Um, and making its way back into uh, the pumping area. Woo! So from here, what I have is the top portion of the barrel. Um, this was cut from the second um, 50 gallon drum and it was just cut, basically one third of the drum was cut off um, and then used for the top portion of this. Um, and what I did was in the center of this top portion here, all I did was cut a uh, inch and a quarter hole um, inside of the top and then put a half inch uniseal um, inside of there and this and then from there what I did was place a, um, a, a half inch pipe um, inside of the unit seal and basically what that is is just basically an overflow um, an, an overflow pipe that just in case your media starts to clog up or this um, the filtration on top of this begin to clog up with solids then you'll have an extra large hole that will um, allow the, 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 the top portion of this filter not to overflow so it's very important to put one of those in, in here because those the, the holes that we're going to get ready to uh, drill that I'm going to show you, um, they will clog up um, and then uh, this top portion here will begin to flood. So from there what I did was I used a 3 16th drill bit to place a few holes um, in the top of this, uh, uh, this barrel here uh, because that's where the trickling effect is going to occur. I just want to get it started and then I'll let the water start uh, begin to flow. Um, and then once, and, and, I'm, and you want to make sure that this is at the full uh, flow rate capacity, um, so you'll know how much water or how many holes you need to drill, um, so you can have the correct trickling effect. So um, I drill a, a few holes in the beginning, 
um, I let the water uh, run through um, and then that'll give me the idea on how many I need to drill. So then I'll just begin drilling little by little uh, holes and then I'll drill enough holes to where the water level is um, uh, sustained at the correct height that I want it to be at. Because in here you want to have some flooding. You don't want to just drill it to where the water just comes right in here and just sinks all the way down right away. You want to have some flooding so all the holes have uh, an equal share of, um, of, of drip going into the media and all your media is equally wet um, uh, you don't want to have any dry spots because then you're going to be missing out on areas where there's beneficial bacteria that could be colonizing so um, I drill it to where I want it to uh, have enough water uh, flooding to occur and then that's when I know that okay now I don't need to drill anymore so I have enough holes that will keep the correct height and then I have the overflow passage um, just in case the, the media starts to overflow and then what I do after that is I just place the extra filtration. This is what makes it a dual filter, um, is because we can place our extra filtration for our fine solids, the smaller solids that don't uh, 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 that don't sink to the bottom when they come through the uh, radio flow filter, because all the solids are not going to sink. Um, the ones that float, these fine solids that really can become problematic, they'll come through here um, where you can place your netting or you can place your uh, your, your fine filtration uh, media here. Um, and then you can capture some of those solids. And I see some here, there's, there's solids here, and, but this needs to be cleaned out um, uh, uh, multiple times throughout the week. Now, when I initially uh, placed this uh, together, I didn't have these side slits here um, to help uh, lift the top up because this top sinks into this, uh, the, the top sinks into the, uh, the, the main body. It sinks in there pretty well. Um, and then what, due to the temperature, the heat and the um, cold, uh, it begins to shrink and, uh, um, and expand and then it makes it very difficult to remove this from the top. So what I did was um, on each side all I did was drill um, an inch and a quarter um, holes and then I just placed, I cut uh, um, some, some uh, a water holes and then I just kind of ran it through and then what I can do is now I can just uh, easily lift it up because it, ha it, it provides some a, a, a brace um, to not allow it to sink together as well as, as when I don't have this there. So it's a lot easier to remove um, when i having this on there. So as far as the water entering in to the trickle filter, what I did was I separated it into four separate sections. Um, I'm using three right now, but I have the option to have four separate sections here. Um, and this is just basically to spread out the solids um, when they enter into this netting. Because if you just have it in one area, then only one uh, portion of the uh, of the netting is going to be used. So this just helps uh, spread it out uniformly across the top so um, solids can accumulate in different pockets and it just allows for you to extend the amount of time um, that's required before you have to clean um, this filter. So I can adjust it. I have valves on some of them. Um, I can place valves on each one if I can want to adjust the flow rates uh, to each section. Um, right now they're pretty even. Each, all three of these are, 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 are distributing the same amount of water so um, that is fine. But um, that's just pretty much the, 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 the purpose of having these sectioned off this way.